Um, so, you've still got uh, myself, Snoogans, and my good pal, McG. Hello. Um, just, uh, there yeah. you go. There you go. It's the moustache. I don't want to eat yeah. the microphone, but I've yeah, got to eat the I'm microphone. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're sticking around. We, we enjoyed it so much, the first game. Um, although we, we did absolutely uh, take our headsets off and say some not suitable for stream words. <laughs> Um, that we were like, we're sticking around, this is going to be a cracker. Um, so we are here with uh, London Rock and Roll's All-Star Skating in the Red, uh, London Roller Derby Battersea Power Skating in the Black, and we are mere seconds away from getting started, and we're on. So straight down the lane three, um, we have Major Vengeance skating out of Swan today, um, picking up lead jammer for um, I'm going to say Battersea because we can't yeah, just say let's London. Let's uh, we've got a London Derby. Oh, I, I did this last time. A London Derby. Um, so I understand now in football terms, uh, if both teams are from the same place. It's a Derby. Really? Yeah. All we're, right. We're, we're Nottingham Forest and uh, Nottingham. Notts County. Notts County play each other. That's a Nottingham Derby. I've got friends at work who like football. So you can have a Derby and Derby, or a Derby and Derby? Yes, you, can, right. abso you can absolutely have a, a Derby Derby. There's an English teacher somewhere going, Oh, bless, I remembered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank goodness, my, I didn't waste my time and money. I didn't is it get a noun? Is it a verb? I don't remember, but I don't remember Derby Derby. Yeah. Um, so, first jam um, was uh, zero points, so it was a... Um, I forgot the phrase, what was the phrase? No point? No, 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 the... Control. Oh, okay. it, was a, it was a control jam. There we go. Okay, yeah, I see what you're getting from. We're into a sub form of official timeout. Good grief, it's, it's literally like I just forgot everything that happened in the last game. Look, that first game was intense. Yeah. In half time, we did, well, a lot of maths was done. Yeah. So some, some done by us, more done by others. Just yeah. to work out how, like, the first game status could impact the second game today. Yeah. Yeah, so um, so while we're in this timeout, uh, I was incorrect, eight points uh, secured by Battersea. Um, so we said that um, uh, it, it was possible for um, Cambridge to pick up the gold, depending on the outcome of this game. Mm -hmm. um, if Battersea lose by 66 or more points, Cambridge will take first place. Yeah, that differential, 66 points. Uh, speaking of someone needing to win, a great pop by our in-venue in audience there as Rock and Rollins Maple uh, East Lap, because I realise I'm on the internet, my mum might be watching. <laughs> um, gets back in there, got themselves a lead. They get in there and first scoring pass. Unfortunately, did meet a great free ball. Tried an inside run, got themselves reset. Call off to play safe. Makes sense as uh, Bassey's jammer did approach the back of that pack just as we ended. Maple did score the full four points, however. Uh, just give you a quick rundown of skaters. Uh, skate for Battersea. Uh, 004 is Major Vengeance. 04 is the Renegade. 150 is Snatch. 19 Medusa. 31 over the Painbow. 313 Emery of the State. 33 Liana Clockier. 4 is Max. 49 is Rogue Fun, who was their captain. 5 is Block There's Monster. 540 is Cyclone. 555 five is Basquilisk. Uh, eight is Charizard, and nine is Elsie Dagger. One for one is Elsie Lee Rowling. Uh, we will, of course, run through London Rock and Rolls All Stars for you um, when we get the opportunity. And then a quick jam there. Uh, barely even realised it was actually taking place. I could hear a lead call, and then I heard a call off. Uh, four points back by Battersea. What we've got this moment, I'll go through the Rock and Rollers breakdown for this afternoon. We've got 003 Grooms Willis, 09 The Undertaker, 116 Sketchy Character, 147 Miss Boutfire, 
333 Health Hazard, 369 Lawrence of Alabia, uh, 413 Cleo, 45 Disorderly, who's also your captain, 46 uh, Smasher, Smasher Kissed, uh, 64 Kiss and Hell, 852 Maple, uh, beats that, but I will avoid saying that word just to play safe, 91 Moomin Ball, and 919 Skidmore. Fantastic stuff, so we are back into another jam. Our foremost jammer is a uh, sketchy character. And they have picked up a lead jammer. Every of the state still battling in the pack, uh, being recycled by Lawrence. So the, from one angle, you had there at home, it looked like a real rumble, rugby scrim there, unfortunately. But the pack did stretch out as we came into corner two, giving an opportunity for Rock and Rollins jammer to get out, call the lead off, bank themselves the full four for that pass. Again, another example of one of those control jams. Yeah. Only four points, uh, but it now allows Rock and Roller to sort of start to creep up and approach the small lead. Uh, Rolling, uh, Batsy, sorry, had managed to establish so far. Maple and Max on the jammer line. A pack advantage to Battersea with one All Stars blocker in the penalty box. And Max with some beautiful footwork and kind of dodge, almost sort of like, I can't say the word dodge when I'm talking about roll derby without thinking of dodgeball, like the movie. I'll, um, I'll be honest, I didn't even know the feet were moving, they just seemed to travel, <laughs> like hover, down the inside edge. I, I just had a vision of you as a basketball, um, like ref being like, travelling. <laughs> um, I mean, we, we hope you travel in roller derby, uh, that's, that's kind of the, the aim. Uh, Maple is going to take a seat for a cut penalty, meaning the Max is now on a power jam uh, for um, Battersea. Uh, Max appearing on your screens um, on the score panel as the Renegade. The key thing is for the moment it's uh, Battersea with the lead and current control of the track. Uh, penalty box unfortunately looking quite heavy. Uh, for uh, Rock and Roll Stars. Uh, they've just gained one of their blockers back, but they still have their jammer and an additional blocker sat waiting. Maple's now back on track at the back, trying to find a spot, trying to find any form of angle to get through. And unfortunately, the jam is ended before they find their way through. Yeah, no initial pass for Maple. Very strong 16 point jam there for Battersea. 20 point lead for Battersea. But as we saw in the previous game, what's 20 points between two, two leads? Yeah. Like, that's that's a good jam. Really. Yeah. Yeah, we, we had 16 point jams from both teams in the last game. Um, we just bear witness to a 16 point jam in this. This is exactly. so very possible to be seen by others. We've got LCB rolling and the Undertaker. Um, LC has picked up lead. Taker is through as well as um, LC approaches the pack and breaks through that wall in no uncertain terms. As always, uh, the jammer calling like, almost frustratingly just as their opposing jammer just like, is in like touching distance at the back of the path, like, it's almost like spite, like, yeah, I'm going to allow you to get yeah. really close, really close. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's almost cruel, yes. but I've, I've also seen it fail miserably, mm. um, and like, where, where sort of the, the, the lead jammer has been, um, either closer, and they've ended up getting a uh, penalty, um, or they've not called it quick enough, um, and the opposing jammer has picked up points. Seen more than enough times, likewise, where the, the, the opposing jammers just managed to get the angle in their body to yeah. take a one or something. And, like, obviously, if you can get one on track, you get everything from the penalty box. Exactly. So that, that exactly. one becomes way more important. Yeah. Um, so, Sketchy Character had a nice jam there, three points on the board, um, managing to get lead, so they were in control. Um, the second jam that they picked up lead, I think that's two for two for Sketch. Mm. Um, and really good sort of um, track awareness of them kind of 
I think they did it the last time as well. They got themselves kind of sideways and really made a point of getting their hips into the pack um, and knowing that obviously your hips are your points yeah. um, or your point scorers. It also kind of defines where you are. Yes, and like as firm as like actual like, like rules apply is like your hips define your space on yeah. the track, as it were. Uh, I always use the analogy of like a cat can get through any gap that's as big as his whiskers. Exactly. And that. a skater can get through any gap that they know their hips can glide through. Yeah. It's sort of the way they, they, they trust themselves. Every day. Interestingly, um, a couple of weeks ago I was uh, uh, visiting um, so Emory, the state in control at the moment, in the pack. Not sure if they've picked up any points, but they've uh, done a control jump. Um, Slight adjustment there on the yeah. scoreboard, there we go. Um, points were earned. Okay, there we go. Just going to make sure they go in the right place. Um, yeah, I was visiting some friends in uh, Milton Keynes and um, I headed over to uh, the Friday night training session for Milton Keynes all day with the Conquered Cows. Um, and um, Shanks uh, was taking the session and they were saying pretty much the same thing about whiskers and hips. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's, a, it's an absolutely spot on analogy. Uh, and it's really interesting to see that from a um, comment made from like, a couple of different people. Um, we're back into it. Undertaker, now your lead jammer for the All Stars. Uh, so far, if we keep the analogy going, the streak on the Undertaker has not been broken. They maintain lead. We need, uh, we need, uh, Fatsy to bring in Brock Lesnar uh, yeah. to, to end that. If I you mean, know what I'm talking about at home, hydrate. If you don't, don't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, just so long as, um, <coughs> excuse me, um, nobody comes over um, and does anything to the announce table, um, we should be fine. I tend to find it's always the Mexican announcers table that unfortunately we get destroyed. Uh, yeah, where, yeah. Where, so, but still, I don't need anyone cashing and running in the bank halfway through this game. No. Cambridge, you don't need to run down the ramp and interfere. You've um, got your win. <laughs> we have chairs, we have <laughs> tables, but no ladders, so we're okay. Um, it's, you have to have the whole to effect on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Segway done. Elton, you roll in uh, for Battersea is your lead jammer. Um, over, over sketchy character. We you have just had it. You spotted it too. Uh, yes, yes. Go for Very it. Excited. We've just had our first star pass of the day. Uh, so mark that on your scorecard. It, it was a beautiful play. You just saw it on the corner one into two. It was nicely caught on camera. It caught uh, Battersea off guard. Uh, thankfully, uh, their jammer was able to catch the. Oh, wait! There is another jammer approaching me. I have control, I better bank what I've got. Uh, so, yes, uh, that is able to extend the uh, currently four more points. 39 to 13, that's a 26 point difference. Uh, I'm not going to take two, that's, that's, that's okay math for me. Yeah. I, like it, I don't need Carol Vorderman and the marker pen for this one. Good, Carol, you can stay where you are. Enjoy your weekend. Very physical start to the jam as Major Vengeance uh, makes way through. We do lose Maple to the box by the looks of it. Uh, they are sitting down. Uh, looks like that was also two penalties for Maple. So this is going to be a full, uh, full minute power jam. I think it's very clear that you have taken a more sort of passive in-line stance to just yeah, allow Rockin to have to sort of like define the pack, to just stretch it out, get an out play call, uh, no pack call, allows their jammer to be free. It's a wise move at this moment. You don't need to put the pressure on unless that jammer needs assistance. We just saw a bit of interaction there before nine, but they went, no, I'll just send back. I don't need to be involved. I did what I did for that moment. Dancing over a, a gravy on the two because Maple's been sat for a time. Which could be beneficial. That wasn't really charged. Yeah. It's been already a quite hectic game from both teams. Like, they've only, they've only been about 30 minutes so far. Yeah. Uh, pace yourselves, everyone. So. Yeah, but please, folks, uh, check yourselves before you wreck yourselves. Mm. Maple now back on track. And Vengeance calling the jam straight away. Still had time as Maple was on that initial. Mm. Um, hadn't completed the initial pass before getting the penalties. 
can see that Major was like really scoping out like, as they were approaching the back of the pack. What is the front, the front of us? What can I do next? Where am I going? They, they did sort of whistle it, whistle in, and then just, oh, I'll just park myself here. You know, thirteen point jam with, uh, with no opposition in that respect from the opposing jammer. That's, that's a, a strong place to be. Every of the state straight through the puck. And the streak is broken. The not only did the broken. undertaker not get lead, they've also been sent to the box. Paul Barra is going to bury him. I, I can, I can, in my head, I can picture that that morbid gleam on his face. I very much want uh, undertaker to sort of lie down and sit themselves back up. So stand up for the box like it, yeah. Um, and recently, whilst we've been making uh, WWE references, uh, Enemy of the State has just been like a rocket whizzing around. I believe they're on their second, maybe third scoring pass. It just, it just seems so quick. I think that may well have been two scoring passes for Emery. Um, Solid date on the board, so that feels right, you know? Yeah, uh, I remember seeing them. Um, I think the first time I saw the skate was um, at High Wycombe last mm -hmm. month. Um, and just being absolutely awestruck. Um, I announced with... Um, Good pal Jay Fawkes, who was supposed to be here with us today, but he's not well, um, battling a chest infection. If you're listening, Fawkes, um, we miss you. Uh, it would have been lovely to have you here with us, um, but we hope that you're resting up. Um, and yeah, we were both just like, damn, mm. that's, that's some taste, taste of jamming. Because um, they're so nippy, um, but also able to, to take and double out the hit. Um, we've got uh, Max as lead, the Undertaker, out of the box and giving chase, and looks like Max is gonna try and get some points before calling the jam. And I think that's at least a point. Uh, and that's gonna be, if possible. Ah, uh, no, not. Um, I thought possibly, it's, it's difficult to tell, obviously, when you're looking on a screen, or depending on the angle that you're out on track. Um, it looked like potentially um, Taker had uh, passed the rearmost blocker, um, at which point, of course, they would have picked up the point for the block on the box as well. Yes, true that. Um, but that was not the case. Uh, but we've got a team timeout for All Stars. And a nice little. Uh, my officiating brain always kicked in and went and shouted very loudly, Team Time Red. I can't do that with a microphone pressing no, on my face because you don't need don't. that feedback at home. Absolutely not, no. But as you can see with our officials in the centre, uh, if you are at home, uh, please have, have a quick hydrate. Yeah. Look after yourselves, you know. I get the impression that if you, if you were energised by the first game, uh, like you've got to pace yourself. You've got to sort of as much bring yourself down from that high to be able to have the energy to go through our second game this afternoon. Yeah. And of course, if you have joined us specifically for the second game uh, because of this uh, down south derby, then yeah, please again pace yourself. Like as exciting as these handful of jams we've had so far have been, 13 of them in total. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and we're halfway through, if this continues, like that's us in the high 20s. As, as I've been mentioned before, I've seen a lot of games where they run. Like short jams, yeah. long halves. Yeah. Uh, as I've had a few situations where scorekeepers have turned to me and go, what do I do when I run out of paper? Like, we've had a lot of jams, we've had a lot of star passes, and I'm running out of, like, physically running out of paper. Yeah. Do, I, do I start on the second sheet? And I went, well, you just might have to. But yeah. I prefer if you didn't, because that second sheet's for the second half. Yeah. <laughs> Had, had this a couple of weeks ago. I've moved into an official review by the looks of things. Yes, just unfortunately for you at home, uh, I'm silhouetted uh, by one of uh, Battersea's blockers in the red helm. You didn't quite see the hand gesture forming. Uh, yeah, they're not holding that helmet in place. That is an official review. Yeah, own. yeah look, 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 Lawrence, Lawrence is having a, a helmet held by um, Jam Timer. Um, Did not. There we go. I'm trying to work out who's called it. It would be. Uh, looks like Battersea, of course. Just left off screen uh, of the central track is a, is, a, is a big zebra huddle of all of our officials going over what uh, being asked by Battersea and the potential like extra being added from uh, Rockin's bench in that regard. Uh, 
once once we know what went down, we'll pass it on to you. Uh, obviously, as you can see from the audience today, we, there's a few signs. It's been a while since I've seen signs in the audience. I tend to only really find oh, nowadays that too. I see signs when there's obviously like someone's first game and they've got their, their mates or their mums turned yeah. up. You know, but obviously nowadays, like, like if you're going to a dead and, and you've got, like, like, you're supporting the local, like, bring us something. Yeah. Because if we're announcing a game and you bought a sign, we'll tell you how awesome your sign is. Yeah. But don't do the thing that you turn it with the sign with a, with a daft meme message on it because you want to advertise your dot com crypto file. Yeah. Because no. we'll then probably take it again. If you're bringing the love, and you put the effort, you put the crafts, we, we might have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. If you've got, you got crafts, and you've got the card, and the sticky back plastic, and yeah. you put the hours in, yeah. please show it loud and proud. We'll let everybody else know how awesome you are. Well, that explains that. There's actual fresh popcorn being popped in the venue. I thought I could smell something tasty. Oh, I, I just thought I was getting that sort of feedback was the kernels got in my head. <laughs> uh, for as much as I support arts and crafts, I unfortunately did not catch what our uh, official review was in regards to, uh, whether that team retained it or lost it. Uh, the game is uh, back on. Uh, we are now into our 14th jam uh, of this second game this afternoon. And uh, not a great start as uh, we lose sketchy to the bounty block to give them a cut track from the, one of our OPRs. So that, that also breaks the streak that Sketchy was on. Um, so that that's the third time jamming and previously they had uh, two for two on getting up lead uh, as, as jam on track. But yeah, it's still early days, you know, a blip yeah. on your batting average. You get, you get, you know, it's not a, no way is it going to foretell the future. We've still got tons of play left. That's his pivot to the box just as that jam ended. I believe we're also losing one of uh, Rollins lockers as well. Both teams will be skating one short for this next jam. Five points earned by Batsy. Takes him up to 69. Uh, rocking rolling on uh, 15. 54 point differential as we stand at the moment. But we have 12 minutes and 45 remaining of this first half. One of the uh, longer jams we've not defined the beat jammer just yet. Maple got checked to the outside and mostly been set. Dragging them back to point four. Do lose one of uh, Rockin's other blockers to the penalty box. Major's just trying to find a space between these last two lines of defense from Rockin. Finds something on the outside edge, gets themselves lead status. 40 seconds to pick up lead though. Great defensive play there. Absolutely stonking. But also worked to the advantage because that also got uh, Rockin allowed themselves to get all of their blockers back. Yes. Like we've managed to cash in though. We, did, we have lost another to the box in all of that fuffle. With the original win box, we were able to get back yeah. on and support. We are still in a pack advantage for um, uh, one of the goalies though, uh, with two Batsy blockers in the penalty box. in-house say it and uh, it is true uh, Basilisk is uh, jamming for Battersea trying to find a space on the outside edge getting trapped in a free wall uh, rocking lockers now trying on the inside great footwork to keep shifting their weight around but getting clamped down unfortunately by Battersea was free now for wall and in all that confusion rising from their grave the Undy Dago makes it on the outside inside edge gets themselves beast stage great little pop for our audience here at the excitement of that turnaround of fortune for rock and rollers 
Yeah, the inside line just opened up there. Beautiful foot right there from the Undertaker. That was real nice. And, uh, what have I ever seen sort of lost the potential whistle to the inside field? Uh, I believe it was um, somebody who had lost the... Uh, oh, in, the in it at their risk. Yeah. yeah. Thankfully, discovered as we ended the jam. Yeah. No one was just getting around with not enough safety equipment on in yeah. this game. Like, you might see this, oh, it's a ref, they'll be fine. It's like, no, they're on wheels, whizzing around. Yeah. We want safety. We do the safety dance for a reason. Both teams working defensively, uh, but somehow just popping out of the pack. Um, Max, just, I don't understand how people can use such force to get out of the pack and then still have that momentum. Now, Max did get reset and dragged back as Sketchy approached the back. That's a deep reset. Um, Max, footwork not so great, unfortunately, there. They were going for an inside edge and they just tapped infield, unfortunately. Uh, I think you may have caught it in the stream as the whistle went, there was a reaction on the face that were like, yeah, I did a bad dang. Uh, so as much as they started strong, they got a flip uh, of fortune now. Uh, rock and rollers, although not lead, we're going to go for the full remaining uh, minute and change. They're the only jammer on track. We've got to slow down two more. Oh, bless that one. The oh, lock is doing everything they can to bridge out this pack's length. I'm just waiting for it. No, no, no out of play call. But they did manage to break out. Absolute kudos to Captain Road Fun. And for being the last line of defence, A team style. Absolutely. Oh, Max, be still my beating heart. I went to glance at the penalty box and saw no one there. As I looked <laughs> to my left of between quarters three and four, I saw a jammer whiz past and I went, oh, that black blur must be. <laughs> yeah. They are the night. Max trying from the inside edge, uh, resetting smartly. Finding a space on the outside. Sketchy coming from in to mid. Getting unfortunately absorbed by Batters' wall. Hit check out by 9 0. Getting dragged back to the corner. Oh, oh. Dagger. Jab coming to its natural conclusion. Points on the board for both teams. And so hard fought for all of those points. 11 point jam um, for sketchy character, 12 point jam for Max. Max really put on the pressure on the speed there, given they were locked down for 30 seconds of the helmet. Yeah. Uh, and inversely, uh, sketchy's got a really shiny actual helmet. Because they've been wearing the helmet cover, I've not seen it. That's a really chromed yeah. out helmet. Like, yeah, I know yeah. it sounds left to say, but sometimes you suddenly realize, like, oh, if you jam all the time, like, oh, wow, you've got yeah. some cool helmet or cool stickers on it. I didn't know that. Do, do you reckon, like, skaters who end up jamming ever feel like they they possibly like made a bad choice or they may have wasted money <laughs> buying yes. like a really yes. fancy shiny yes. helmet? Like, I, can, I can see that. Like, someone's like, as you say, gone and bought a chromed out helmet. Yeah, yeah. Like, they pushed out an extra. Um, we are in an official timeout. Uh, Seems to have got a little bit of a official's powwow in the centre. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Like, nothing worse than like breaking out all those derby stickers you've put, yeah. like, amassed over the years, sticking up your helmet and then going, you're going to jam it forever. Oh, great. Oh, why, why did they do that? Oh. No one will see my cool stickers on my cool helmet. Uh, we're moving into an official timeout for London. Uh, official I review, sorry, like, actually. We're getting the O in yes. the sky. Yeah, I, I, I got my words muddled. Um, what I was trying to say was an official review for London, but maybe they're using it as a timeout because I thought I'd seen the O into the T, ah. um, but now I see that there are multiple people in the middle. As you can see, so the huddle of everybody. Yes. The chat. Everybody in the middle. See, so yeah, as daft as it sounds, like if you didn't know, any official crew will require uh, your uh, bench and captain uh, to come in. Even if you didn't call it, you've got to listen to what's being asked. Yeah. All of your referees gather together and then someone, normally the old referee, may be the head NSO with a clipboard and paperwork to write down what he said. So it sounds weird, but like, I, the amount of times I've done it, I've had to ask, right, uh, yeah, green team, like, what is, is this what you're asking? Blue team, is this what you're asking? 
Yeah. And I only ask about to you because I need to write down exactly what you've asked us. Yeah. Because if I half write forget, <laughs> the paperwork will be a bit wrong. And then inversely at the end of my the referee's decision making, I then have to ask like, refs, have we decided this is the answer? I realise I'm nodding at you, but nobody can see that or hear that. That's right. I've been doing the same, like the amount of times you've observed something earlier on. I've just gone in my head, uh-huh. I thought I'd uh, move one of my ear cups to see if I could hear what their uh, our in-house cohorts are talking about to see if I can glean what the mm. official review is, but I can't. Uh, you, you, did look, you were adopting the DJ stance with your headset. Right? How does your sound out of speakers? Like? Yeah. How have I connected these two iPods on right to just mix these two tracks? This is not actually a mixing bag. I've just got one of the DJ controllers. DJ hero yeah. controllers. I'm pretending I'm mixing these. Oh things. yeah. It's all on the laptop these days. I've actually just got a DJ hero set. Just <laughs> put it on desk. I mean, to be fair, knowing me, it would probably actually just be a... You know, you can get those um, cat scratch tables. <laughs> like it's just cardboard and the account would be on it looking like they're a little DJ. That's probably the route that I'd go. What I want to see is someone with two gramophones. Oh, like, like literally, like remix that two gramophones. Yeah, like, you'll absolutely destroy the finals you have. But like, there may be some steampunk steampunk convention somewhere that were like you were the most amazing DJ. Yeah, yeah. Right, enough, enough with non-existent music mixing. Uh, back to Rolling. Our officials seem to have dispersed. We've got skates on track, but I'm still unsure what went down. Looks like there's still some kind of, um, not necessarily discussion, but it looks like our head ref is still, it's only just finished relaying some information. We're going into Adam. Uh, we are getting an additional official time out just before we jump into the next, next gen. I appreciate all of our skaters probably really need to get to get into the because we've gone one a bit minutes so far with no derby action happening, but lots of derby to be discussed. Like, this is what's important, like, an official review takes as long as it takes. An official timeout takes as long as it takes. And it's one of the joys of using those devices. It's like, I know a lot of head refs like to keep the game rolling and as smooth as possible, but what can we sort out, like, invisibly in a, in a line yeah. of time? But, We've got a technical problem or something like that, or like yeah. some sort of confusion from part of the crew. Like, get it sorted, make it clear to both benches what was going on and discuss so we can get fully yeah. back into it. We'd much rather take the time to get it sorted than it keep repeating and everything. Every jam is staggered by a bit because something's a bit wrong. Somewhere. Exactly. Especially when, obviously, this game is uh, the point spread is a bit, is a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, but when it's been when it's been a division that's had such close, um, like the game does have. Yeah, exactly. And, and we had a couple of timeouts. And we have some short and stuff. Um, beautiful work by Emery and State, um, starting on a power jam. So it looks like possibly the outcome of that uh, is review, which is a sketch character. Mm -hmm. So while we don't know uh, what the request was or what the query was, the outcome. Uh, is a sketchy character ended up with a penalty, and every other state is just um, living their best life, quite frankly. Well, they're, they're already on their second scoring pass in 30 seconds. Wow! So, yeah, this is the slowest they've been right now. Yeah. On corner two, this is the slowest they've been. Sketchy character out of the penalty box, so they have been really just. Enemy. Emery's only just got out of corner three. Why is the bank team? Did they avoid any points being grabbed by Rockin? They did. The tactic worked. They got the full four for both their laps, so eight and seven. Six and a half minutes ish remaining of this first half. Uh, score sat 92 points to Battersea, 31 points. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that incredibly well-timed update score team uh, to all stars we've got major vengeance and the undertaker uh, looking for leads oh the undertaker so, so 
Jam ref confusion, but Major does get the lead. Yeah, I think um, I think our jam ref for Major Vengeance um, was checking there uh, with Taker's jam ref uh, because obviously she had been the foremost jam, yes. um, and she had effectively got out, but she wasn't upright in bounds when it happened, so lead could be awarded. And that's again some of the great like, invisible communication we get from the jam ref or the front. Inside pack record. Fripper? Flipper, as I've heard being called, a front inside pack ref. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> where, where all it takes is a yes, confirm, no, leads open, leads close, yeah. call. Like, We're back to it, and we've got LCD rolling and maybe B slap. Again, like, as much speed as we've seen, like, this is a slow start. Yeah. Great song by both teams. Pins are moving on both opposing channels. Again, over 30 seconds before that lead pull made, or goes to, to, to Battersea, but that's a slow start. Beautiful hip check from over the pain bow to Maple. Um, not quite enough to shut her down, but definitely enough to kind of make her think twice about that mm. kind of progression forwards. And Paimbo does have some devastating hits. I mean, that's the other thing to take into consideration. Is, like, as much as, like, like, a gamma might take a hit and get back up, it's like, how many hits have you really taken? Right? Like, how much of how much you like, your defense is being lowered? Like, how much of your stamina is being sapped? Not because yeah. you're whizzing around quick, but, like, I've just been, I've been taking these clean, legit hits. Yeah. I'm tired. Like, like, that's gonna, that's gonna, it's like one of those invisible things you don't always realize is happening to you. Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful work by Max. Sees that space on the inside line as all of the blockers are both trying to block and um, create offense for sketchy character on the outside. Um, and it just meant the inside, like the, the two inside lines were just, hello, <laughs> please step through me. Mini shout out as I've been observing these last few plays to uh, uh, near the clock here. They've been involved in a lot of great defensive plays. Nice. Uh, just checking, moving up, pairing up with teammates. They, they seem to be like good pack awareness of like what can I do or what can we do. Nice. Like next to catch people out. And like I always assumed in my head that like the pivot would be like the pack, the pack controller. Yeah. Is my, when, when I first started this sport, but I think more now it just takes, if there's an experienced skater on, like. If they're making a decision, like work with it. I, I, I had one bench say, I'd much prefer if you failed together than yeah. failed apart. Because like I know you were trying to do one thing rather than four individual things. So. Yeah, 100%. And it's one of those things that sometimes is a bit invisible. If you, you don't have a like, you know, spoil as you are at home with a camera that's tracking stuff. Like if you were track side, it would all just be a blur of action. But it really helps highlight some of the, uh, like everyone sees the jam. Everyone sees the big hit. Yeah. There's those invisible skates that are making things work behind the scenes that I think occasionally just need to realise it's making a difference. You're so right. Um, and I think that... Um, I think you're right. I, don't, I think I think it's the way it's, it speaks volumes to how the sport's evolved. Because um, I remember when I started in, what, 12 years ago now? Um, it was very much... Ah, oh, sorry, beautiful arm whip from Snatch. Um, sees... Uh, did I just miss an arm? You did. I, I blinked. I blinked. It was, it was like right here. Uh, I, bl I went to get a. I, I hydrated. You hydrated. I've seen some good assists today, but an arm went. Like, yeah, oh, it, was, it was. It was textbook from Snatch. Um, yeah, uh, Basilisk got them through. Um, somebody just pulled, pulled the cut. It was just out of frame. Yeah, obviously um, you can see the, uh, the referee awarding it, but who got it? And then we've got two in the box, one from each team, and Mo. You can see the rest of the pack going, do it, do it, do it, do it now. Um, yep, we have unfortunately lost uh, Dundee taken to the box. So um, I, th I think what might have happened was um, Basquiat managed to pull a cart on Dundee taken. I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. um, but we've now had a uh, jam and switcheroo, and... Um, both jammers have in the box, so we're going to run for the next 35 seconds. 
Um, we've got a minute and five seconds left of the period that remaining for this half. Um, well, please consider it. We've only made it to corner three. <laughs> and it's like almost a full full jam. That's that's how good defence has been. Like, yeah, people I, have to fight. I don't think... I mean, we've had at least an initial pass so far because we've had yeah. a lead jammer. And that's the first four points scored in this jam uh, with 10 seconds remaining on the clock. If I was wearing a hat, hats off to all blockers today for such fantastic defense play. Do you know what? I just had to do a double take to look at you. Um, we've got uh, an official review being called straight off the bat by the bench um, for Rock and Rollers All Stars. Um, I had to do a double take to look at you because I'm so used to seeing you with a hat. True. I was like, I've got to wear this. For those of you at home, we're wearing headsets that look yeah. like we're like at F1. Like really yeah. big, like, hat, like as if we should be flying planes. Yeah. So like, I normally wear a flat cap. That's kind of my thing. That's yeah. my stick. Right. But like, I can't wear a hat no, and no. a big gamer headset. No, right? no. Like, my head is so big. Right? <laughs> but, uh, and it's clearly thinning on top. I don't need to rub away anymore. Um, so just while this Sephish review is uh, doing its thing, um, what I was what I was saying um, before that jam just got really heck and exciting. Um, when I started in sport, as I say, like 12 years ago, uh, I was 12 years at the start of the month, July 8th, 2011. Um, it was very much kind of drooling to us, for want of a better phrase. Um, without kind of negative connotations. Um, that you, you pivot was your leader on track. Yeah. Um, I, I guess almost because like that strike denoted them as different. Mm -hmm. It kind of marked them out. They they were often in front of the pack. They they were the they, they, they were the leader. There's no other way to kind of yeah. word it. Um, and it's very much involved. Um, and it's considering the pivot is the one who can take a star pass so if at any point during a jam the jam is like i shouldn't be doing this right now or i don't want to do this or i feel that some for whatever reason the pivot would be better place to do this they can pass the star to the pivot um so long as it's upright inbounds all that kind of lovely legal stuff um for a very long time it didn't seem to be taken into account by many teams whether the pivot had any kind of jamming capabilities whatsoever. Yes. It was so long as they were a leader on track and they were open. Um, much to the detriment of many. Um, we are back into this jam. We'll find out what that um, official review was for at half time. One uh, thing I have observed is half time is dangerously close. Yeah, that is behind us about to tap us on the shoulder because our period clock has run dry. Yeah. I think technically, if not for that official review, we wouldn't have this jam. I think you're As right. I say that, of course, we don't have this jam. Yeah, it's done. Romeo done. Mm. So, four more points just at the end there from Percy. <laughs> yeah. All right, Rocking friends. Rocking uh, 119, so a century has been beaten. We missed that. We got so wrapped in the most. In I'm the like, did we? I, don't, I genuinely don't know. It's, how is the, fir the first half of our second game gone? Like, damn if I know. We're gonna have like a 15 minute intermission. Yeah. Which will probably seem like an eternity to us considering this first half an hour disappeared and everything. Yeah. But fr from from the last time we, we hit half time, um, we were like, we still got three more halves and rolled over. We've now only got one. Yes. Um, we're gonna head off. Uh, we will see you back here in probably about 12 minutes. Um, Stick around. Hard. Yeah. A sandwich, yeah. biscuits, yeah. an orange, I All don't right. know. There's a good. guy waiting to cut us off, so we're going to go. All right, bye. Bye. I don't know if the mic's picking it up, but our in how all are very excited. I know both teams are getting a cheer. Precious few seconds. There's the starting whistle. Straight off in. 
We do start with several of Batson in the penalty box. Two have just been released. One left. Another great start for Sketchy and Abigail. They are doing their best to find a space. That one remaining, now two remaining. Batson Block is doing their best to reset uh, those and jammers. It seems like this is just trying to find an outside edge. Got put back in. Still do not have the lead jammer. I say that, of course, and this is blown, and Battersea gets lead. But it's neck and neck between our two jammers in this first jam of our second half. It's so close. Welcome back, Steve. Thank you. Skitch again trapped in a front three wall, uh, doing their best to sort of slide around or waterfall as I heard it heard around any space they can find. They do find that space, they do get out, big smile in their face as they lock in their first four points of this second half. I was going to say, they look absolutely chuffed. I was about to say, where's Basquist gone? But they're in the box. Yes, we, we do lose Batterson's jammer to the bounty box. Oh. 30 seconds remaining on this first jam. Uh, rocking all in control now due to the power jam status they find themselves in. Strong three wheel at the front. But Sketchy pushes through to the other side. Again, you might have been a catch at home, but a great pop from the crowd as they got out. Oh, yeah. That scoring pass coming in, I believe, for their third at the moment, possibly. Yup. Potentially got some points on the outside edge. One left, locker left on the inside. Jam comes to an end. Yeah, doesn't um, manage to, to get her hips around. Um, snatch. Snatch holding the line until the last possible moment. For that two points, me the life there for London. Um, sorry, I swore, swore we weren't going to do that. No, no, it's happened. Yeah. We've got it out of our system. Yes, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll say that's the thing. Um, 42 points for the London Rock and Rollers All Stars, 122 for London Roll then Alison Powell. A very strong return there by the Rock and Rollers. If anything, that's, that's, the, that's the saber rattle you want as you come back yeah. in the second half. It's like, yeah, you might win in the moment, but nah, yeah, this is what we can bring. Also, uh, this, this amazing person who's been here all day doing some exceptional cro uh, crochet, like totally in the zone there. You, you do not appreciate, <laughs> everyone at home, how, how, like, how calming it is just to, just to see them. Like, all this ha hectic action, yeah. all this like, athleticism, and here's someone just in their zone, 100% in their zone. Yeah, um, she was saying that she ends up watching the refs because um, her husband, Cyborg, who's one of our refs today, um, so she ends up watching the officiating more than the game. Well, well, thank uh, which you for coming to support. Yeah, all absolutely. Like, of this I saw you last week in um, in Merthyr Tidville as well. Yeah, so it's lovely to see you again. Pleasure. Um, <laughs> I, I've travelled around a lot in the last couple of weeks. Bless you. I'm surprised you've got any time or energy left. You just like oh, I have no energy. No. Um, I, <laughs> I I I I uh, have preemptively booked Monday off work. I, I, part of me thinks I should do because yeah. like, I know what time we're getting home to. Yeah, yeah. A um, couple of so last week, uh, myself and um, one of my teammates uh, who also refs uh, Dick Van Strike, um, we were in Merthyr Tidville for Tiger Bay Brawlers doubleheader against Leeds. Um, that was, uh, we left about midday, got home about 9 pm. Um, the weekend before, um, Dick Van Strike, Attila the Hunt, and myself. Um, we left my house at 6.30am on Sunday, um, got home around 9 because we've been in Newcastle for um, the Tier 1 MRDA triple header. Um, Stocking day of roller derby, but I'd also booked the Monday off work because mm. I knew that I'd, I, sp I spent pretty much the whole day in bed. Um, chronic illness. Yeah. Um, 
also there's only seven days in a week, there's only 24 yeah. hours a day. Like, yeah. You need you need rest time. Like, eight hours yeah. sleep sometimes isn't enough. You know, yeah, you need a day. Um, we are back on track, so we've got Max uh, as your lead jammer, Maple B um, coming up to the pack, but being shut down um, before she was able to score any points. Um, and just a just a little sub uh, something on the subject of um, sort of health and things. Um, you can sometimes you've got to pick your battles. It's like fully aware that I was going to need time to rest. Um, I, I have chronic health conditions, um, but I'm also aware that if I don't do the roller derby, I don't, like, th this is a large portion of my life. I very much enjoy doing this, and it's, it's, it's expending the energy of being exhausted, spending time in bed, is worth having fun with my pals. Mm. So it's, it's, it's picking your battles. Sorry, just a little um, PSA there. It's all good. Uh, we did start this jam one block ashore for rock and rolling. Uh, Batseat have established leads. Uh, Esme rolling coming back round, I think, for their uh, second scoring pass right now. Uh, but uh, the Undertaker did manage to get out. Uh, a no pass, no penalty uh, was gestured by their jam rep, so they were allowed to stay on track. Obviously the call-off was just quick enough to deny them any points, an additional one uh, for Battersea. So it's a five-point jam uh, for Battersea, uh, moving them up to 131 points. Rock and Rolling staying on 42 points at the moment. Uh, we've got well over 25 minutes left of this second period. Uh, we're only like three jams in. Just a very strong start from Rocking, uh, coming out like a rocket for this second period. Makes sense, actually. Just realised. Rock and rolling, coming out into the second period like a rocket. Yeah. It's in the name. It's what they do. <laughs> if at any point they produce, like, string instruments and rock out, then they've done, like, the other part of their name. Yeah, yeah. So we've got Major Vengeance and Maple Peace Slap as your jammers. Ma uh, Maple is your foremost jammer she's pushing hard against the wall and she is rewarded with lead jammer and the crowd goes wild quite frankly another shout out to our blockers t -shirt swinging and everything. another shout out to our blockers that was like well over 30 seconds of like tight play before we were able to get a lead call um, maple taken off to the outfield uh, called the jam from the floor, wait to see if she uh, managed to pick up any points. We do have an ETA double check, BNT double checking how they are, which is, we, we, at any derby game we need them. You know, yes, absolutely. I, I always say to when I meet them at the start of the game, it's like, thank you for being here, I hope you get to enjoy you know, your game, two games, and you just sit there. That's yeah. what I want. I want you to be here and enjoy yourselves and go home and go, this roller derby that was pretty good. Yeah. Like, that's what I want. I don't want you actually to do anything. Because if you don't do anything, nothing happens to any of us. Exactly. Yeah, I think um, my hope is always that the, the medics will get paid to watch roll derby. Yeah, good. Yeah. I mean, um, think about it. That, that's, that's like, up until the moment where you need to put into practice your skills as a medic. Yeah. That's not a bad shift, really. Is yeah. It? Yeah. Um, and of course, um, if, if you're ever at an event, um, the medics are here for everyone, mm. so skaters, officials, volunteers, spectators, they're here for everybody. Um, so if, if you're ever at an event, um, what? Disorderly looking fierce there, mm. just being caught randomly on camera. That was, uh, she, she, she does have a look. Like, I love Lee to pieces. Um, but she, she, I absolutely would not want to go toe to toe with her on the line. Um, she's a little bit terrifying in the best possible way. Uh -huh. In my scant time as a jam ref, I said to a selection of skaters, "You can give me daggers from your eyes, but the second those daggers come out your mouth, I'm giving you another. I'm giving you a penalty." Absolutely. And knowing that rule, I jokingly said to them, "I got a lot of daggers from their eyes, <laughs> and like you have to maintain it because like I know you don't want to kill me, but you really look like you wish to yeah. kill me with that, with that, with that look." So it looks like that timeout was um, just while um, Maple was being seen to by our medics. Um, because we do also always need um, to have at least one medic available 
um, the gameplay to be active. Mm -hmm. um, so it may be that both of them, uh, both the medics that we had, were checking over. Um, Likewise, a skater, as much as a skater might say to themselves, yeah, I'm fine, like, no. You stay where you've gone down, and a, and a medic checks you over. So Yeah, exactly, so yeah. And until the track is clear, exactly. no more play can happen. Exactly. Oh, that, that was... I, it, it wasn't even, like, tippy toes. Um, it was, like, the smoothest, slowest one-foot glide backwards. Similar to that, but just kept going. That, that was one of those motions where you want to be in a, in a hockey ring and that ice spray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, disorderly uh, feeling, continuing to feel fierce, taken the star, kind of shut down by Emery of the State, uh, and we're looking at an official review from the bench for um, Rock and Rollers. I was about to say, just before that jamming is like, oh, there's someone jamming, I don't recognise in that rotation. It caught me off guard. I was very excited. New dynasticism was coming to the track, and then that jam didn't last very long. Well. So, I unfortunately don't get to see what they could bring as a jam. I feel like we, it might we, happen again. We got like 22 minutes. Yeah, there's, there's, there's still time. There's a chunk of change. Yeah. 139 points to London Roll Derby Battersea Power. Uh, 44 points um, to London Rock and Rollers All Stars. Uh, last few gems have slightly been uh, lower scoring, but I think it's more like, um, if, if I'm thinking about it from the back, it's going to be like, we just need to keep treading water. Yeah, we're in a good space. No one needs to be too showy. Like, if, if we don't need a 25 point jam or anything. Yeah. Four's good. Eight's nice. You know, 12 will be, like, we welcome it. Yeah, yeah. But, like, just keep them rolling in, trickling in. Like, we'll just, okay, bit by bit, let's wind out this clock. Just because, unfortunately, like that's the mindset you've got to take given what Bats has started this period. Like, Bats yeah. got right, right out the gate, we're gonna lock in. I think it was like, 11 points, like, like uncontested. Like, mm -hmm. like okay, that, that could happen, yeah. But it's, it's, and we've, we've seen it a couple of times. Um, that like the longer you run the jam, the more opportunity there is for points to be scored by the opposition, and the more possibility there is that penalties will be incurred not just by the blockers but by the jammer as well um, and then it all starts to turn all goes peak top and, and you need to also be mindful of like if you're running the jam you may control long are, are you inadvertently tiring your jammer out are yeah. they being like we've seen it a few times with a few of the passes they get pinballed around blockers yeah. and like yeah you got out you got through but has that sapped you? What have you got left in the tank? They don't want cost. Yeah, because obviously you've got to be mindful of like, if I've got an okay rotation of jammers, yeah. like, I, I can, I can, you, I can stay on the bench for like two, three jams recharge. But have I burned you out in the two minutes? Like, and then of course there's the uncontrollableness of when like both go, where well, you've got to go for the full time. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's all well and good having um, depth to your jammer rotation. Um, but if you're, you're you're running it like that, um, and it's it, this is a fairly physical game. Mm. Um, both both teams have really got that um, those those blockers um, in the bag across the board. It's it's not like we're seeing some lineups being um, having more physicality than others. Um, oh wow, that was just that was right place, right time. Uh, Max just like appeared. Like, like a puff of smoke out of the pack. A wild Max appears. <laughs> it was super effective. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Max currently is your lead jammer. Uh, uh, the, only, the only taker had broken out um, quite quickly afterwards as well. Uh, but she has picked up a penalty, so she's going to take a seat. Um, and Max is going to potentially run this. One blocker in the box for so they've got 30 rollers. seconds to do whatever they want. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's all them. Right. Unfortunately, we did sort of get a bit of a strung out, spe almost speedy pack for a moment. Yeah. Uh, I know that's a, a bane of all outside pack refs. Like, don't don't become a speedy pack. I've got to do laps now. Yeah.
it's it's interesting that we were talking about um, sort of the impact of uh, on on your jammer and having to um, kind of get through those packs again and again and again. Um, but with this pass being the exception because Undertaker's back on track, the last each pass of those in the power jam, um, Battersea's wall went in and ran offense for Max. Um, so each pass was quote relatively simple and contact l low contact. Um, yeah, Max was just finding a flow. To, I mean, yeah, here's the line. Very fluid. Yeah. Um, which is great because then they don't lose the momentum they're building up as they start and they come back in. That that yeah. track flow around. Fourteen point jab. So we got Sketchy and LCM rolling. Everybody decided to want they want the outside edge, uh, including most of the, the blockers as well. Yeah. <laughs> Big recycle by Disorderly to Elsie and catches her on a hip, trying to take a takes her down, but not out. She was out by mistake. Now that'll come down to like positioning. Yeah. Like, because obviously we had an angle, they were down like on their knees, but yeah. Obviously, from a rest point of view, like one of those limbs was uh, obviously, what's the word I'm looking for? And they're sort of like, I can't remember now, I'm losing track of words. They're sort of in and out at the same time. Yeah. Um, but if you're not fully in. I, I was looking at where the limbs were when she landed, not necessarily as she was falling. Oh, it's because like, they had that. Straddling, that's there the we go. There's yeah, the it, it might only be minor, but if you're not all in, yeah, you're not all safe. Yeah, so Elsie's already out of the box. So that was very brief. Makes me, I mean, I was gonna say, makes me wonder if maybe the penalty had been rescinded, but also there's only 35 seconds left on the jam, so it's very possible that, that amount of time had passed. I do feel like I've lost all sense of time. Yeah, yeah, we've clearly established that. We're now existing in some sort of like space between worlds. Like yeah, time is a social construct at this point. The only reason we know what's happening is because they put a little clock on our monitor. That's it. Like, neither of us has a wristwatch. We don't. No, no, I mean, I've, I've got my phone here, but it, uh, it's lying. Who knows? It just has a lovely little pumpkin lock screen. That's all. Yeah. Key thing is, uh, great uh, reversal of fortune for Rockin. Uh, nine points on the board. Uh, great pop of energy from the yes. crowd. That's going to keep like the morale up. This is what you know, like, there's, there's that additional mind game thing of like, as much as it's a tiring game, it's a tactical game. You've got to keep like wanting to play the remaining 18 minutes and change yeah. you've got. You can't just go nah, forget it. I'm done. Like, yeah. Throw the towel in. No, thank you. Uh, Major Vengeance calling the jam there as Maple uh, was probably within about five feet of the pack. Three points awarded to Vengeance. Uh, bringing the scores to 55 to the Rock Rollers, uh, 160 to Battersea. <laughs> Talking about time being a social construct and, and, and meaning nothing, and you mentioned the pumpkin on my screen. It's always Halloween for me, so time uh, means nothing. <laughs> it only makes me chuckle considering uh, I was in a major conversation about those gigantic 12 foot Home Depot skeletons the other day yeah. with some friends. <laughs> um, Honestly, that is gold. I've got one mate in Chicago who has one. Beautiful. Uh, and he has to justify leaving it up to his house at home association. <gasps> uh, uh, Where would you store it? He can't store it anywhere. Exactly. So he has to keep buying costumes to justify why it's up through Thanksgiving and uh, like Christmas, St. Patrick's Day and stuff. I love that so much. If he's willing to share photos, please hook me up. Um, we've got a jam that's active. Uh, Emery of the State is pushing. Um, very hard against the tripod. Um, we're only rollers. just into corner two and well over 40 seconds yeah. have elapsed. There's um, lead call. Yeah. That's a, that's a slow jam this second half. So. Yeah. Uh, Undertaker had been your foremost jammer um, but got taken off and recycled. We have had a star pass. First of the half. Yes. Uh, Emery is round and through. I'm starting to feel uh, 
Emery's short of status is allowing them to sort of like, I'm going to I'm going to use my teenies as cover. Yeah. Like, you don't know where, I'm, where am I? Where am I? Because yeah. there's a lot of times where like uh, a member of oh. Rockets glanced over the shoulder and as they looked into their blind spot, yeah. Emery's going, I wasn't there anymore. Uh, so Emery nearly round coming into turn four. Uh, however, Lawrence, um, just the, the lightest tap of the hip um, took them off, recycled them, um, and made them work again for those points. Uh, Skidmore, who had taken the star very close, but was denied a scoring pass. Seven points in the bag there for Batsy. Rocking being kept at 55 for the moment. Team timeout for Rock and Rollers. Now I mentioned earlier a few gems back, we had that uh, moment where we had the twig, the disorderly, uh, yeah. the star on, just before the jam ended. But fingers crossed. Yeah, yeah. We go into this next jam with the current lineup we can see. There's not going to be any switcheroo or shuffle. Which would potentially get a, a full jam. Yeah, so yeah, she, she started with star. Uh, just a quick shout out because I, I was able to grab mine, uh, my pre ordered one during the half time. Um, that's why I was a little bit laid back. Um, I have picked up my t shirt as created by. Um, London Roller Derby, uh, the pro proclaims uh, trans people belong in sports, mm -hmm. um, which just factually they do. Um, I'm sure there's some people who disagree. Um, I mean, I know there's people who disagree. Um, it is the way that I feel. Um, it's the way that obviously London feel. It's the way that my home league feels, and I know that it's the way that your home league yeah. feels. Um, there, there were t-shirts available for pre-order up until the 7th of July, I believe, uh, which is what I'm collecting right now. I'm just collecting one for a league mate who'd ordered theirs as well. Um, I believe um, there are t-shirts available to buy in-house today, and I think whatever's left will then be available to buy, I think, on the London website. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely keep your eyes on um, London's Facebook page after today's event um, to see if you're able to bag one if you missed the pre-order. Oh, so, so close. Um, Disorderly was very close to picking up the lead for Jammer in that one. Um, she was held by those two blocks at the front. Um, so Max's lead, however, Disorderly uh, has her sights locked and loaded. Those uh, those daggers you were talking about earlier. Say, the, the, the entire home crowd here really psyching them up. Disorderly picking up a penalty. Um, well, but I will take solace that I get to see Disorderly jam again. Yes. There's a positive. Uh, unfortunately, they do start in the box. Yeah, she, she, did, she did pick up another push, uh, one point at the end of the jam. Um, and that was one unanswered point. Wow. That's, so, that's interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting considering it seemed clear that, that we were going to see, like, you know, that's the extent the current lead they've got. So, so I mean,. I would still take that as a win oh, gotcha. for, for, for Lee. Um, one point picked, even with the penalty, one point picked up over Max, who has been phenomenal all season. Mm -hmm. um, and Max called the jam because Lee was so close and wasn't quick enough to shut her down. Stretched out pack there, just concertina together. We do lose one of Max's blockers to the box uh, due to that. Stretch that pack, potentially a, a no pack call, not being responded to. And disorderly taking advantage of uh, some snoozy blockers there. Uh, back on track, straight down the midline. Um, I don't think even her own blocker saw her. Um, and her block. Massive contact with over the pain bow. Quick recovery by both of them. Disorderly dropping in behind Cyclone. Did she manage to secure any points? 
Yes, she did. She passed A blocker, so she got the two in the box. I could not see that. Our, our, my vision of the penalty box was slightly obscured, but as we said earlier, you get one on track and you claim everything, so you cashed out beautifully there. Nice. To go back to what you were mentioning earlier about the available shirts, the fundamental producers, yes. I want to sort of just reiterate that. If you want to be involved in this sport, yeah. as you, yeah. turn up. Yeah. Let's, you want to you put wheels on your feet, you want to put a jersey on your back, you want stripes on you, you want a clipboard, you want a mic in your hand. Yeah. Come to this sport as you. Come as and you this is, this is where this is where you can beat you. If this allows you to be more of you, bring it. Because that's whom we want to see. Okay? I get it. Internet's a weird place. You know, it's crazy. Like, you know, COVID happened, lockdowns happened, right? But here we are, you know, live events are happening again. Leagues are being able to play again and, and stuff's being able to happen. So like turn up you know all these leagues around the country are hungry for people to turn up you know fresh faces new ideas new perspectives on what we can do you know in any aspect of the sport so like come down you know okay. the only person who's preventing you doing that is you right yeah. so yeah get on get on facebook get on the internet google your local area like put roller derby your town in whatever pops up Get yeah, guarantee there's yeah. something near you. Um, we did just, um, while that was an incredibly important message, uh, Maple Beast Lab just picked up a four point unanswered jam. Wow. Um, which was very, very nice. Um, uh, we have uh, back to back lead jammers for Rock and Rollers as The Undertaker picks up lead as well. Beautiful clean sweep on the inside edge. Again, I'm starting to sense a lot of energy for that, that uh, uh, rock and rollers from our crowd. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's the part of the crowd that's directly sat to where we are. <laughs> I think there's an element of, um, so talk, when we were talking uh, at a half time, uh, between the games, um, when we were working out the points differentials mm. to talk about um, Cambridge uh, with the possibility of them taking the gold if um, this is now a 12 point jam for The Undertaker. Um, we're, we're looking at, um, this is the American Badass Undertaker. Um, this, this is where we are right now, if, if, if you're looking they at remember the remember they had a Harley, they yeah, yeah. come down the ramp. You know. Yeah. Okay, so 12 at the moment. Anything cheeky on top? I think there's gonna be. Yeah, that's, that's a 15 point jam for The Undertaker. Let's just uh, add to the bowl. 101 difference at the moment. Yeah. Again, quite easy maths. I uh, welcome yeah. that. Uh, 15's up there. It's, a, it's another strong. It's yeah. Strong. We've, uh, we, I said, we, we rocking open with 11. Yeah. Uh, so, Andy Taker went, no, I, I match that. Is 15. So, like, I wouldn't be surprised if like, a bit of uh, sort of playful banter between the jammers of, like, what can you bring next? Like, what have you got? You know? I suspect, uh, and yeah, again, just, just, I just glanced up. I overheard from our house announcers. There's ten minutes left. There's ten minutes game. left. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah. So what I was saying um, when we were talking about the differentials and stuff, um, it turns out that um, rock and rollers um, haven't won a game this season, mm -hmm. um, as we understand. This is the first proper season for pretty much everyone post-pandemic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people have stepped away from roller derby, have had life changes, families have grown. Like loads of different things have happened. So a lot of teams are rebuilding, restructured, um, and are very different teams than they were before the pandemic. And I'm sure that that's any one of those things are applicable for, or any combination of those things are applicable for um, London Rock and Rollers. Um, so it, it would have been um, a pretty hefty deal if they'd have come in here and beat London Rollers over Battersea Power by 66 or more. Yeah, we did the math, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, because it was, it was order 66, <laughs> um, which is how we ha helped us to remember it. Um, 
but considering they've closed the gap significantly to 101 when it was well over 100 at the start of, or, or like we, we were looking at a considerably some more sizable uh, differential at the start of the half and even 10 minutes ago um max picking up lead at the moment um it like that that was an incredible jam from mm. the undertaker like rock and rollers and they're, they're, they're putting on a fantastic show um, and the point that I was trying to make was because we were talking about the audience I've managed to find myself and come back um, I think there may be an element of the audience getting behind the quote um, and I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that they're, they're rubbish not by any means because they have been phenomenal today but when there is a team that is behind and by a bigger margin I, I know I do it when I, on those rare occasions when I watch Royal Derby, um, Skeptic character getting out of the pack now and giving chase. Um, I, I, I do it. If, if I don't have a, a, a horse in the race, so to speak, so if I'm not supporting my own team, um, I'm, I'm going to make noise for for either the team who's got less support in the house, so it's probably going to be the away team, um, or the team who isn't scoring as many points. Because it just... Just is. I've done a I've done a few games this uh, season where just the logistics they've been like closed door. Yeah. So they're all official, legit. It counts yeah. as part yeah, of yeah. the tournament. Everything. But it's just two teams playing each other, a bunch of officials. But the vibe's really weird. It's, it's, it's in your head you go, that's awesome, and then you go, oh, no one's cheering and no one can because <laughs> we're all here to do our job. And and it just and it's lovely. That there is just energy in a room. Yeah. Like, Difficult for you at home to experience because if that bleeds in, it makes for a weird stream. <laughs> I, I I guarantee there's people watching at home that are uh, making noise and cheering and stuff, and, and probably scared the dog who snooze on the sofa. Um, or maybe the dog's howling along with you. Who knows? Um, cat's probably asking where the food is. Um, Again, my cat's are probably very curious right now. But we uh, we've got Maple B Slap pushing against a phenomenal tripod at the moment that is just that's the stuff of dreams we lose one of rock into the box we are now a minute in with no lead established wow and we've only just made it the corner too of course and then jinx it all by yeah, yeah. someone finding a space on the inside edge a minute and four seconds for lc rolling to get through and pick up lead one last line of defense for maple i mean if you're gonna put one last line in over the pain bow is, is no slouch. Um, eight coming on nine years of the sport. Um, Almost takes me back to what we were mentioning about our understanding of what's the pivots for all other than just being a stem person to start can be given to. Yeah. But they're like, yeah, I'm the pivot, not because I want the start, but as I know I can be the last line of defense. Yeah. I know what's happening on track. I can, yeah. I can, I am the pack controller. <laughs> just had a, a, a vague flash of Thomas the Tank Engine in my mind. That was kind of where I was going. Yeah, yeah nice. Six and a half minutes remaining of this game. 189 to London Royal Derby Batsy Power. Uh, London Rock and Rollers All-Star 78 with Undertaker heading to the penalty box. Major Ventures is your lead jammer on this power jam. Taking a big hit there from Skidmore more frustrating than thinking you've got a perfect line into the back of the pack and oh i've been reset i got to try a second time yeah I've gotta do it again looks like we've had a, a big hit there uh skaters just staying where they are to sort of i think there might have been some contact to the head possibly um, why is he ever being involved like i'm gonna stay down yeah. My teammates and opposing skaters twig. Right. This skate is not doing what we always do. They're not yeah. getting back up. Let's give them a glance. Caught by our uh, head ref. Yeah. Because like that's what we actually can do. Like, it's, yeah. it's clear well, there's enough idea that we might have possibly injured the skater. Yeah. Let's just call it. Yeah. Because like get medics in, double check. Yeah. And and if it was found that like yeah, maybe it wasn't, we'll just deal with it. Like, yeah, I think well, it, I think I don't think any bench is going to contest like if you stop that because you thought the skater was injured or down exactly oh okay cool it's just a place 
So it looks like our skater have managed to get up and make their way back to their bench under their own steam, which is always what we want to see. Um, and sort of in case you're wondering kind of where where's the line, so to speak, um, when like you're taught to play roller derby, um, the aim is to kind of, like if you fall, the aim is to get up within sort of three to five seconds. And like anything over that is when officials will check um, and be like, are you okay? Do we need to stop the gym out? So that was obviously longer than three to five seconds. Um, and it was clear that the skater was sort of holding a body part sort of thing. Um, which is when there's this falling small where I see some newer skaters like turtle up. Yeah, to yeah. Be safe, which is wow. understandable. Like it's a physical sport. Yeah, just gonna cut you off there. Um, Emery of the state um, just kind of almost grapevine tippy tappy toes along the outside line. Um, just how do you even describe that? I'm glad you did because I blinked and I saw Emery like on corner one and then I saw Emery approaching corner four. <laughs> And I'm like, how? Like, have you just teleported across the track? Like, I know you skated. It's scoozy. Where was the additional frames in that motion? Like? It's, 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 it's like a badly cut Korean animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that badly cut animation resulted in eight more points. Battersea now up to 197, approaching their potential second century in this game. Five minutes remaining. One block in the box for um, rock and rollers. Straight out of that start, Cyclone ripping the pack apart to get a massive space for Max to burst out and establish themselves as lead for Bassi. Really quick call off. Yeah, there sketchy you. character hadn't actually completed the initial. They were nearly out and then got recycled. I was say, like, barely 20 seconds worth of jam. Yeah. So I'm to say, like, why did we, why did we turn up? Like, <laughs> or, or almost like a, an itchy trigger finger. I, I have to write that down as official paper right now. Yeah. I, I'm wasting ink. Like, why did you do that? Make it longer. Um, but again, as I was saying before, makes sense. Control yeah. jam gives you the four. Yeah. Breaks your second century mark. 201 to Fantasy. And it's, it's, it's one of those, like, obviously, the previous jam, Emery making way around the track so fast. It's, it's definitely possible. Um, and presumably the opposing jammer hadn't seen that Sketchy had been recycled. Mm. So saw them back at the pack and was like, oh, they're on a scoring pass. Shut it down. Um, so Elsie um, already scoring. Maple um, still looking to try and get through this unbreakable nice gesture there yeah like yeah put, put the put the blinker in yeah, the yeah. on the one lane took it just at the last second though but as he thought and i think something's happening and they weren't quick enough to react maple got out um big shout out to lawrence there for that who, who, who put the blinker yeah, on yeah, for yeah. the for the offense and very quickly switching to defense um as elsie came around and getting just right in the way um, just, um, nope. Uh, last couple of jams have seen, uh, Batsy taking that second century under their wing, 205, 209, uh, to 78. Undertaker and Basquilisk. And that was a near photo finish, and it is the Undertaker taking the lead. Thank goodness, uh, Jamrefs have those indicators on, so we can clean see who's got what. And that's an offensive jamming where the Undertaker takes Basquilis down, giving them a bit of breathing space. Poor Basquilis off guard there, they were. Look at frustration of like, oh, oh, really? Is this how we're going to play? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. And uh, London, uh, um, right, you use my one up, okay? So yeah, yeah, okay. Um, no pressure, man. Um, oh, interesting. Uh, it looks like the the uh, leads may have been incorrectly called because basketball is now showing as lead jammer on our screen. Um, and Undertaker has removed the star. I think Basquiat's now realising they are the lead jammer, decided to call off, which makes sense from their like position. 
not sure if that was a call off or if the jam was called uh, for down skater. Um, just from a uh, safety and understanding point of view, just so you're aware folks, if a jam is called for a skater, um, they are required to sit out for the next three jams. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not just like, okay, we'll check them over and make sure they're fine and everybody carries on. Um, yeah, so if, if somebody is, um, if a jam is stopped for a skater, they are required to um, not skate for the next three jams. Yes, yeah, so unlike uh, certain football players who may uh, attempt to dramatically react to not contact yeah to pull, like if it's happened to you that, that you, you know even if you get up and go no i'm fine i'm fine right? yeah. like well we stopped for you yep so you, you get to sit down for three more jams on the chart the charge yep. you're not part of any play for the next three yeah and i i i recently um this recently came up um i think at the uh the game i was at last week in Martha, um i think if that happens if, if a game is, if jam stopped two or three times for a particular skater, I think they are removed from the game, um, for, for obviously for safety and yeah. well-being, um, which I wasn't aware of, but I mean, it makes sense. I think it's um, one of those things that just, just doesn't come up. It's like a rule that yeah. exists that never really gets put into play. It's, it just doesn't come up. Like. Yeah. Uh, so Major Avengers is your lead jammer. Elf Hazard jamming for the first time today. Um, has picked up a cut, they're going to take a seat in the penalty box. Uh, so Major Vengeance, um, nice control on the outside there, taking a big hit, but staying upright inbound and all of that tasty, tasty stuff um, to reset themselves and step through the pack, um, aided by Cyclone and Pumbo. We're now into the final minute on the period clock. Are we really into the final mirror at the period? Yeah. Oh my word, where is it going? I know, minute and change on the uh, jam clock. So just glancing up there is the potential for either team to call a timeout when this jam ends. Um, obviously, yeah. I would advise, given how it's flown at the moment, that tactically, if you wanted another jam, you would, because we are now less than 30 seconds of the period yep. clock. So if this jam ends, we would naturally end the game with no ability to have an additional jam. Uh, Elf Hazard is through, that's a scoring pass. Uh, so Jam was called and timeout called by um, by Rock and Rollers. Looks like there it has been acknowledged by the Jam ref. Uh, so I think just the, just going to be the scoreboard uh, that needs updating, um, and you may be able to hear. Um, cheering of one more jam over mm. that carryover from our mics. We're, we're, uh, we're, we're pleasantly um, boxed in by Cambridge skaters. Yes, um, I think there's been a few moments where bless, one of our camera operators has glanced over to where we are and if not for them and their energy, we've seen the both of us. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I saw a scant amount of my scalp peek through someone's <laughs> shoulder. Uh, I was tempted to wave and shout, hi mom, if she was watching it out. Uh, <laughs> so, it, I was going to try and peek the uh, penalty box. We do have one, stood. Uh, so, oh, uh, that's actually starting uh, I was trying to shy. look in real time, um, but that was a good shot from, from the uh, camera. So, yeah, uh, pack advantage to the Rock and Rollers All-Stars. So, in this, shall we say, bonus jam we're about to get yeah we do have uh, maple with the star for rocking nice bit of offense there but it was shut down very conclus conclusively and that is a lead being obtained by maple b slap now i'm going to tell everybody at home if not for these headsets i would not be able to hear snoop absolutely not our home audience this um, emery taking nearly 20 seconds to get out of the pack uh, that may be one of the longest times it's taken them to get out. Yes. Uh, Maple, both jammers on a scoring pass now, um, but really caught up in a, in a significant melee of a pack. Like, I mean this in the most loving and respectful way. 
It's a free for all. Emery's through. I I wonder if Maple's just going to run it. It would make sense. Right. We know where we are in terms of scores. Yeah. But, but let's get as much as we want. Let's take as many points home with I, as possible. I would not be surprised if Maple is going to look to try and hit the 100. Well, that's four points. That puts them on 90 that'd 10 be lovely. to go. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't that be super nice? Um, it had just... It had just been really tasty. If we could. Yeah. I mean, we've got 42 seconds left. Um, some really, really beautiful blocking going on, uh, particularly from 540 Cyclone, who's just been absolutely on one all game long. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that was so sweet. So and I love that that close up with the footwork was just so was really trusting. nice. Maple such trust there on an apex, round the corner at speed. Ten, just over ten seconds left now as we go into the last moments of this jam, last moments of this period, last moments of this game, last moments of this division. Ah. Just there's, there's going to be some points because Maple's right in there. We just got to wait and see. Right. Beautiful shot of the crowd. Really great work from our camera up. Maple ends with an 11 point jam. That's Getting beautiful. 97 for rock and rolling. I really hope that they are all super proud of themselves. We do end today. 236 D to yeah, that is the final. 97 to rock and rolling. There is the chip final. And that, that means that uh, London Roll Derby Battersea Power uh, take the gold medal. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that means that Cambridge take the silver. Um, and I believe, um, as mentioned by uh, one of our officials earlier today, I believe that Big Bucks High Rollers take the bronze. Wow. Um, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, I think that means that uh, London Roll Derby Battersea Power and Cambridge Rollabillies will be heading to playoffs. Nice. Um, Keep your eyes out for more information. I believe early bird tickets are available for Five Nations playoffs. Uh, will be held at Ponds Forge uh, Ledger Centre in Sheffield uh, on the 9th and 10th of September. Um, it's going to be two full days of roll derby, one track this year. Um, there will be uh, WFTV Airline and MRD Airline games. Um, it's uh, some of the games. Some of the initial pairings have already been announced. Um, obviously, we're just waiting for the last couple of games of um, the Five Nations season to be completed, i.e. these, mm -hmm. um, to, to kind of finish things out. Um, and then we'll, everything will be updated um, so we can update everything there. But if you head over to either Instagram or um, Facebook, uh, Nations Roller Derby, you'll be able to find all of the information there. Sticks and Stoner did a great Facebook live as uh, so the next evening, uh, did a draw for the teams and the games. Um, and yeah, all the information is available uh, on both platforms. Um, I think I've plugged that sufficiently, don't you? I think so. Man. Yeah, yeah. Um, early bird tickets are available. Um, if you've been involved in any way, shape or form with um, Five Nations this year, uh, there are patches available. Um, so there are officials patches, there are uh, videographer and photographer patches, uh, there are crew patches, uh, there are announcer patches, there are skater patches, there are bench patches this year as well, which I think is wonderful. Um, and there are just uh, blank patches, so if you've been a spectator or something and you'd like to get a patch to memorialise all the fantastic games that you've uh, been to this year, um, those are available as well. And there are also little kicker patches, which um, let's say playoffs, um, and I believe some of those will be available at the playoffs event as well um, for you to buy and add on to the bottom of whatever you get. Um, you can order those online, um, and I believe some will be available at the event too. Um, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else we need to say. No. We had two wonderful games of Derby. We really did. Potentially got a ton more coming away in early September <laughs> for those playoffs. If you can't be there, be there virtually. Thank you so much for this afternoon, Thank you, Benji. 
it's been an absolute pleasure. A massive shout out to our in-house cohorts, um, the fantastic battered sausage and the ever wonderful rigs. Um, absolute champions, mm -hmm. the pair of them. Um, thank you as well to Snatch for um, corralling us all together. Um, folks, thank you so much for joining us. We really hope you had a wonderful day today. Um, support local Royal Derby in any way, shape or form you can. And please spay and do to your pets. I've been Stugans. I've been Magic. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.